My name is Moran Dvela. I'm at the fourth year of my PhD studies under the supervision of Professor David Lichtstein. I'm studying at the Department of Medical and Neurobiology in the Institute for Medical Research Israel-Canada, which is also known as IMRIC. My research focuses on a group of compounds, steroids, uh, called digitalis steroids. These compounds have been originally found in different plants and also in some exotic animals such as butterflies and toads. Today we know that they are also found in our circulation in the blood and they are also present in the brain. Therefore, they are considered a new family of hormones. So far, the physiological function of these hormones has been mainly investigated in the cardiovascular system. I'm studying their involvement in a completely different field, which is the regulation of cell growth. As you know, cell growth is a fundamental process that follows us from the embryonic development, through our growth, and eventually at aging, and in different pathologies in which cell growth or cell viability is being affected. A few months ago, we have published a paper which shows for the first time that these steroids, the digitalized hormones, affect cell growth by acting as growth factors, stimulating cell viability. The entire work in this paper was done in vitro on cell culture. So a natural expansion of these findings was to test whether we can see um, the, um, the effects of the steroids also in, the, in vivo in the whole organism. And indeed, we have found that um, the compounds are involved in two different in vivo models. The first one is normal embryonic development. Um, we have discovered that reducing the level of the steroids in the embryo affects the development of the brain and reduces its weight significantly, meaning that the brain uh, the, develop the developing brain relies on these compounds and modifications in their levels might affect its normal growth. The second condition in which we saw the involvement of these steroids in vivo was in brain trauma or traumatic brain injury. As you may know, brain trauma is uh, a major cause of death. The trauma causes a widespread damage uh, of cells and we predicted that if our steroids function as growth factors, they might be helpful in this condition. We were very happy to find the administration of these hormones to mice model of brain trauma significantly improved the mice performances. As to my current experiments, I aimed to exploring the molecular mechanisms responsible for the effects of the steroids in the two in vivo models. And I believe that our work will have tremendous implications in many physiological processes in the human body, and that it will have practical consequences um, in the development of drugs and um, other treatments.